Hello everyone and welcome back to my Vanilla Plus mod pack. I hope you guys enjoy episode 20. In the last episode, we set up this entire villager trading outpost. I mean, like not setting it up, but we decorated quite a lot of this area. This whole thing was just a barren stone wasteland like it is on the roof <laughs> for quite a while. And we have finally set in a floor. We have put in some nice walls. And I think our decorations are quite nice. I, I, I genuinely love this. It looks amazing and I'm really, really excited to actually do this to the lower floors and then move it up to go to the higher floors because that's going to be a fun little journey. I need to figure out exactly what I'm going to do, but for right now, I would love to go finish this a little bit more. I think in today's episode, we're going to really work on this a little more, kind of decorate some more things, put some leaves in the tree, kind of just make this whole place look a little nice, finish this roof up, actually figure out what we're going to do with the roof in general, but also maybe actually go up there and build the top of the tower, actually what sticks out, because that was the idea in the original time. So we're probably going to build a building up there, something interesting that we're gonna put at the top. Hi, Gollum. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm doing an intro. Just like, just like, leave me alone. I'm doing things. Hold on. But yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some more building. We're gonna do some more work on the villager trading post, and it's gonna be a fun little building episode. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode 20. I think the first thing I'm gonna do today is actually fix something that I had wrong, and it's something that was like unaligned with everything else, just because I I accidentally put it that way. I didn't mean to originally, but it's just been kind of in the wrong place. So these leaves were have been sitting here on the edge of this post, which they should actually be on the middle side of this post which actually fixes the issue I'm having here. The other thing I need to do is finish these back walls. I'm gonna put these as birch as well so they kind of see through the, the you know see through the leaves because they're quite see-through. So I would love to not have to be able to see the ugly stone behind it. So we're gonna just kind of put these back and that 100% completes this little section. Oh my god please there we go. So yeah this is how we're gonna have all of them even on the edges over here. So I'm gonna just move things around that I want to move because I think they look a little nicer in the center. I like the way they were before but I think they make more sense having having them be centered especially when I I think like there's this gap right here that I need to figure out what to do with. So that means I'm probably going to put another plant on this side that kind of just does the same thing. So we're going to just kind of fix some, some stuff that we didn't do last time. And that's like the main thing for right now. So let's let's go figure that out. All right. So that looks, I think, a little better. I, I just don't like how it's sunken in here and not really here. But I think it's the way it's going to be. It's a little uneven because I mean, like I'll hold things a little uneven. I don't have too much of an issue with it, but it's definitely not perfect. I would love for it to not do this, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, from the outside, it looks good from the inside it just is a little wonky ish but that's okay it kind of feels like this is an exit and it feels like that should be there but from the outside it looks great the same thing from this one it looks great on both sides because it's even kind of doing the same thing on both sides but this ones aren't they just that's just the way this wall ended up being set up so kind of had to be this way unless we extended this to a four wide but then it kind of wouldn't match with the rest of this I don't I don't actually know it might match with the rest of this if I extended this wall out one more it's definitely a thought though hmm could I very, very well could. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see what it does. <laughs> I'm gonna see how, how much better it looks if we do that. Okay, so we extend this to a four wide. This space is pretty even. I think this makes a little more sense. It looks much nicer. We flush that in with that. And it is now a four wide space. And I think this looks nicer. So I'm gonna go do this to the other side. We're gonna go fix some of that, some of that as well. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Both of them have been fixed. Actually, I gotta put torches back on these pillars. But other than that, everything is set up the way I want it to. It actually does look much better than it did before. So I'm I'm actually quite happy with that. Having these flushed makes these even on both sides. This looks great. This little section up here is not super noticeable, but it does look really good. And this is up here. I added that as well. And it looks good. I, I have a little hole here, but that's gonna, gonna, the roof is gonna change at some point. So we're gonna figure that out. The other thing I think I am gonna change is this. I, I, I know it's a four walkway. So I think what we are gonna do is actually have a four walkway, which is not what I had before, unless we put some slabs up here, but we're definitely gonna have that one trim on the left side. So that, that stone block is gonna stay, but maybe be replaced placed with something else. It's just, I'm not exactly sure with what yet. I'm still deciding on how I want to exactly do this, but I do want to change the roof at some point into something else. It's just, I'm undecided on how I want to do that, but we might not work on that exactly right now. Uh, we're going to definitely work on the building above today, but I do want to just fix a lot of things that are in here, kind of like finalize a lot of the stuff in here. And that looks already much, much better. So yeah, I don't know. We're going to do something on this side. It could just be these smooth stone cobblestones uh, and maybe we'll put some, we could put some pillars, but I do like having these things here. So so I don't know. I don't think we'll do that. But yeah, that looks good. I think it looks much better. Having cleaned this up, it's a little thinner. It looks pretty good. We could even go with like a wall up here. Maybe even another fence, another spruce fence up there. That could be a good like thing to add. Just another a duplicate fence that goes on top. So it's like a still another kind of railing, but something similar. I don't know. That, that could be a good idea. Maybe we'll mess with that in a little bit. But for right now, let's keep going and see what else we can fix. If there's anything else we missed in here and uh, we'll see what else we can do. Well, speaking of things we missed, we haven't fixed the other side. So we need to fix the other side's door. So 
let me do that as well and then we'll move on to doing something else. <laughs> okay, so now that these doors have been fixed, everything should be even on all sides, which is great. I love that. It looks really nice. All I've got to do is go upstairs and start outlining that building. I think it's going to go pretty well. I think it's going to be pretty fun. So let's head up there. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess up here. So we're going to have to start working on organizing this stuff. And actually, look at that. The zombies have new textures and stuff. They did last time, but I thought it was just a specific thing. Oops. I thought it was a specific thing with the, the mobs that we were finding, but this is new. It's a very new texture. Interesting. It is a mess up here. As you can see, the, it's dark. The tree is covering a lot of light. We really do need to light up this area completely because there's quite a lot of enemies spawning in here. So let me, uh, yeah, turn that on. See where the enemies are spawning because that's that's kind of bad. That's not good. We don't want that to be happening right now. Let me take this coal and make some torches. Okay, well, while I can't light up the entire area, at least somewhat, it could be a little safe. This should be fine. I think the blue is like a maybe spawn or maybe just at night or something, I guess it's saying. But uh, during the day, those the yellow ones are the ones that could spawn mobs, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So I wanted to cover those up. But yeah, so what we're making is the top of the tower here. So we have the tree still going. I haven't worked on it in a few days, but I need to figure out where I'm going to put this edge of the tower. And if I want this floor to be uneven and where exactly do I want this thing to start? Because I have no real clue of where I want this to go, actually. So let me just do some clearing and then I think we'll figure out where we want this to be because it's going to take a little while to kind of figure it out. But I also want to just, you know, maybe find a place to start, even if it is kind of submerged in some places. I just want to be able to see it in a few angles. So maybe not that one, but this will be out and you can see and maybe even get in through here or something like that. Maybe there'll be an entrance and it goes to the rest of the village right here. Oh, wow. This bridge. Oh, no. I was about to say this bridge playing mosaics. This is the top of my build. So this is a mess. Something I have to worry about. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to lay our foundation down with the deep slate tiles. So what I want to do is still line this up with this wall. So I think I'm going to bring up the floor from here. So this will be our foundation, this singular block of deep slate, just like running across this singular row. And we're going to kind of just make it run into the to the rest of the, the mountain and just kind of have it flow into it. So even though I might change some of it, well, I'm probably going to change like a lot of this. A lot of it's still going to be kind of covered and it's going to be kind of ex like not exposed because it'll be underneath this mountain area. But this is going to think are going to be our entrance or not our entrance, but like, you know, that the, the first floor of the area, right? I mean, there might be an exit, there might be an entrance through it, but it's not going to be the, uh, the main way we're getting through. We're still getting through through the way we normally do, but it'll be, I think this, this will be the bottom floor or actually this will be like the, um, I guess, yeah, this will be the bottom floor. And then the, we'll see that deep slate tile in the inside. So I think that'll be pretty good. But essentially what we're doing here is building like a facade. We're not really building a building where things are going to be going on. This is kind of just going to be the outside tower and nothing will really be inside of this. Um, at least I think that's the what I'm going to do. It just kind of is a facade so that there it looks like there is a tower here, or at least a house that once once was here. And now it has been overtaken by this tree and it is kind of growing out the top, you know, so it's kind of just going. So yeah, let me fill out this entire slot here just in case, because I do want to be able to see this from the inside in case I'm able to. So, you know, we'll have this and we'll kind of just still build it up. But yeah, this should be good. I just I think I'm, I'm going to just have this one layer on the bottom and then we're going to fill the rest up with like a birch or something like that. Okay, so with everything cleared out of the walls, we have our perfect spots to build. We're still going to build up the area so that it looks good on the inside, like I said. But from the outside, we just are going to have that covered and we're going to have this exposed. So this area will be the visible part because this is more of the village area. And we'll probably do a lot of cleaning in here if we actually want to make this village look kind of nice from the outside and the inside because we have everybody kind of in here and we'll probably release some out here once we, you know, feel confident enough. We'll make we'll make these places look a little bit nicer because these stairs naturally are really bad. So I want to make an actual good infrastructure here, but it's going to take a little while to do that. But that is not current priority. Current priority is to build up this little area here. So I need to get, I think I need to get some birch and I need to get some, I really like birch plank mosaic and I need to get some of these. I don't know if I'm going to use the mosaics or if I'm going to use the planks because like I really, really like the mosaics, but should I use them for everything? <laughs> That's the question. I think we definitely can. I, I think I'm going to use it so we can like double use this hopefully in some places. So yeah, I'm going to build a pillar here and I think we're still going to have some outside pillars, but this will be one of them that's going to be kind of sticking out. So we can have a corner one that's there and then we're going to have some like pillars like on this side and whatever. So we can have some depth in these builds. Uh, also, it's getting nighttime. So let me go get some rest. So I think all I'm going to do right now is just kind of build this up as a wall and we're going to just have some birch plank mosaics kind of filling up this entire area. And we'll kind of decide later what we're going to do with this wall because I, I, I think it's fine. Let me just get me in. Oh my God. So let me just get this like foundation in so I can kind of figure out what I'm doing because I don't exactly know everything I'm trying to figure out here. I'm just kind of winging it a little bit, you know, it's it's fun, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of keep going. But obviously I, I'm pretty sure I need more birch and this is all probably. 
basically do it. Since we're just using bridge plank mosaics currently, I'm gonna make them all into it and then kind of just put that away. So let's keep going and building this this wall up and then we'll kind of figure out how we want to decorate the outside. All right, so on the outside, we have a solid wall, which looks not too bad. I actually quite like the plank mosaics here. And let's start counting how, how we can do this. We can start like making a building here. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these trees and probably some of these buildings might have to go. Like things are probably gonna just have to disappear. Uh, not small tunnel shape. Let's just give me the whole thing. There we go, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how tall I want to do this, but I definitely want it to be in this somewhat similar style. So as you can see, these, these spruce logs are kind of flushed with it, but then they have some outer bits that are kind of making some fun designs and things like that. So I wanna do something like that with the logs, but also with the birch and just kind of all of the stuff that's, that we have available to us. So let's see, what do we wanna do? I think the first thing we wanna do, like I said earlier, is count. So let's see how, how long is this and how even can we space out some of these things. So one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's good. That's like they're like five in there. That's not too bad. And I want to add a log, I think across. I don't see that in any of these builds because they're quite small, but I think they would have a, an across log if they could. So I'm going to build it like that as well. Let me see how I want to get up there. I think something like this and with them maybe sticking out the edges like that would be pretty good. So let me do this across and let's see how that looks. Okay, with them sticking out both edges the way it was, I think that's not too bad. I think that's giving me the look that I kind of want out of this building. So that's not terrible. I like that a lot actually. So all we're gonna do is actually, I think add the same log here on this outer side, just to kind of go into the, the ground here, just so it's kind of like structured still in there. So it goes until you can't see it anymore. And then um, I still, that means that I wanna actually add this log here and add this log here instead. So this makes a little more sense. So yeah, we'll do the same thing on the other side and then do that. It should work out pretty well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think we got that down and we got that down. Now what we gotta do is actually build up how tall we're gonna do this. It might not be much taller than this. Honestly, this little section might only go one more floor up or it might just stay at this height and build a little roof above it. But I kind of want it to go a little taller than where it's at. So I might build one more floor. So I think what we're gonna actually do is get the, uh, just get the deep slate that we had before and put it on top of this. So I think what we're just gonna do right now is fill out this and fill it up one more uh, up. And then we're gonna just put the deep slate tiles above that and have another like foundation sort of for a secondary house directly on top. So that's kind of the only plan that we have right now. So let's do that. All right, with the second foundation complete, let's take up another row and build up the second part of the house. Let's do that really quickly. All right, I think that's a pretty good start for the building. It looks like it's making some sense. It feels like it fits within the style. There might be some adjustments I wanna make later, but I think that's pretty good. I think there's, that's pretty much the facade we're going for. So we'll put some more decorations, put more details, but I think that's not too bad. I'm really, really happy with that actually. So it looks pretty good. So let me actually fix an error I see, and then we're gonna continue with working on the building. I don't know exactly what to do next, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna see, we're gonna see it together. Well, now that I look at it, I guess the it, this is a facade, right? So the main thing I'm gonna be adding is Details. So let's get on to the details on the outside. So looking at the other houses, there seems to be a lot of spikes and things kind of sticking out the sides. There's some ladders over there. There's a lot of trap doors. I think the first thing I do want to add is trap doors and maybe like, I guess just a, maybe some stairs and stuff in certain places just to see how this goes. But yeah, let's start decorating and doing some stuff. It should be an interesting time. So let's figure it out. <laughs> You know, this might be a short episode too because this is all I'm kind of doing, but I think this is good. I think this looks all right, you know? I used a, a modded block that I accidentally found from Handcrafted, the spruce corner trim, so I replaced the blocks that were there with these because they look quite nice. If anything, I would have replaced these actually with regular stairs, but if I didn't find this block, I probably wouldn't have figured that out. But for vanilla purposes, eventually, I'll probably do that instead, having them having these blocks kind of collide and then having just a staircase there because that looks quite nice, but having the modded block looks even better. So I haven't really decided on if I want to do any more decorations around here but it looks kind of nice already i like the barrels i like the fences and i love these lanterns here 
So, I don't know. I think this is like mostly complete. I'm not sure if I want to do something else to this. I like the way it is, you know? And I love the way it's framing this tree that isn't complete yet. <laughs> it is almost done. It'll be there. The only other thing I want to do is actually put some dirt into here and terraform a little bit because I need to cover up the top of my base from the inside. Uh, that's on the inside from the outside. And uh, yeah, we should have dirt though. I, uh, yeah, we have, we have a ton of dirt. So, I'm going to terraform a little bit. I'll talk while I'm doing that. But I think this is good. If there's any recommendations on things that I should do or things that I should change, please leave them below. I would love to read them. I know I'm going to read them quite late, but I hope you guys enjoy this series so far. And even if I am reading them a little late, just because they're uploading kind of later than I'm recording them. It, it, for context, this is, it is August, um, it's August 12th, and this probably won't go out till September something. So probably like mid-September, this video is going to be going out, but I will eventually see it and I will, I'll be playing this world for a long time. So I would love to see some recommendations and also things to do maybe on these walls and stuff like that. I might bring in the decoration like I did there. I just need to actually go do it. So I think for these walls, I do also want to just have them, I guess they're fine to be matching. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. That has a two spot, one, two, three, four. So maybe, maybe here, just add some stuff on the side. So, you know, so like a two block and then a four block space just to add the, some kind of variation between them. But they, these, those sides can match because they're not really showing, especially like the bottom ones are underground anyways. So one, two, three, four, and then five, right? Um, so four block space in the middle, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I want to maybe try and do is actually put some moss in between these things and put some leaves and things like that because this looks quite nice and clean, but it's kind of underground. It's kind of a run and it's still, you know, kept clean on this side and some of the sides, but the ground's growing above it. So maybe we'll put some plants into here and actually put some leaves and things like that into these gaps because I think that could be pretty good, especially like the um, the hedges, not the actual leaves blocks, but like things like, um, like that, you know? So it's like little tiny hedges to kind of just like fill in some spaces. So, you know, they don't really connect, but they'd be a fun little decoration to add there. So I think for, for right now, I'm probably going to just put these oak hedges, which are probably, they might not be the oak leaves that I'm going to use later, but they'll probably be the spruce ones, but those look actually not too bad. So I have a bunch of oak leaves, I think. So I can put them around, kind of decorate this building with some green and like greenery and foliage and stuff like that. And also this, I need to get rid of you. I don't know why this tree is even here in the first place. I guess randomly it spawned, but yeah, it's good. I think this was supposed to be a lamppost and it kind of broke, but that's fine. But yeah, we're going to do some terraforming while we talk a little. And I think that's good. This is going well. This looks amazing. And actually let's look at this in a few ways. So we we got f4 uh so we got our free cam so we can go look at this in this form and fashion and it looks quite nice we just kind of gotta fill in some kind of roof that maybe it's kind of breaking out of or something or maybe just put the deep slate in here even i, I really don't care what i initially do here i, I just kind of want to have some kind of opening so i might still put another deep slate tile um into there or i want to might want to keep it like this but we'll see what we do because i kind of want to cover this up a little bit but as you can see going into here this kind of looks nice on the inside it's a very clean very nice look to it from in here you can't really see it all that much you can kind of see it from you know the sides you can see that kind of layering up there but that's kind of it you know so going back up here the other test i want to do is how good this looks in shaders so let's go test that all right so the shaders have been turned on we're using complementary reimagined and I, I think that looks kind of cool, you know? I, I think I love complimentary reimagined, but I think for like a, an actual, like if I did this for a Let's Play and I had this on all the time, this probably wouldn't be the shader I have. It's quite quite strong. My computer definitely can't handle it for this long either. And I think I could run it in recording, but but it's a little, I guess, strong to look at. So it's really nice for thumbnails and stuff like that. So that's what I've been using it for. But I love the way those lanterns kind of just glow there. They look really amazing. This whole building looks great with the warm light of the torches, with the warm light of everything, looking at it in F4 actually coming out of here and looking at it here. This looks nice. I really actually do want to put a door here now because it looks like there should be a door there. So I might put in something or at least a, a fake door. Let me uh, let me turn off shaders and uh, let's put in something like a fake little door here. So this is about a two block space, right? So we'll do this. So let me get this in and we're going to kind of just get in a spruce door, I think. Maybe just two spruce doors that, that'll go into here. So if I just to have some a little more depth, I'm going to put them on this side of the block and then we're going to kind of do that. The only only other thing I'm probably going to do is just leave it like that. And then we're going to, I don't know, maybe put some uh, like slabs and stuff up, up here just to kind of like put some blocks and things to add. I don't know. It looks kind of nice. But for right now, yeah, I think that's it's fine. Let me just uh, grab out. Do I have anything? I have, I have stairs. I have like a little bit of stairs. I could do this. An even one. It's a weird one. Definitely. I don't really like even here for, for doors like this. Let me see. Let me get some uh, slabs. It doesn't look perfect, but it's not bad. Maybe if I wrapped it around. No, they 
it sticks out too much. If these these things weren't there, they would be that'd be kind of good. But I don't I don't know. I want to put some deep slate into here. I just don't know how I want to do it. But maybe I could just take these out and then grab like deep slate here and deep slate here, and then we can put some uh stairs. Do I have any? But before I make any, I have cobble deep slate stairs. Oh, there they are. Uh, deep slate stairs. So if I want to do that, I could do this. It's not bad, right? It's not terrible. I could also see what the stair looks like here. That doesn't line up properly. I don't like that. <laughs> that's not good. So we're gonna put this back. Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna do that and that, and that should be a good entrance. Just a little door there. Even if we never actually use that door, it is a really nice looking door. So let me just look at it one more time. Let me put this away. So looking at it one more time, going back here. I think that's good. We just need to take out those torches, but it's it's perfect. I think that's great. It looks quite amazing. I'm gonna leave it like that. Also is, ah, oh, that does spawn enemies up there. I need to add some torches. I do wanna add a torch here and a torch here. Take out these two. And I need to get back up there and actually light it up. Cause as much as I love those lanterns, they don't actually light up enough to stop mob spawn. So I'm gonna put some torches there and that should fix that issue I was having. There we go. So that looks quite nice. Let's look at it one last time and then move on. So yeah, that looks good. I love this. I love this facade. For another type of building I'll do later on, maybe we'll do something like this. It looks pretty good. It looks great. I'm actually quite happy with it. So yeah, we'll, we'll eventually do something again like this. But for right now, I think this building has been completed. It looks it looks pretty good. It looks great. So now let's terraform the area around it so we can cover up these ugly logs that are sticking out really weirdly. And then let's just end off the episode here. So let's keep doing this. But yeah, I think this will be a long uh, outro. So if you guys want to just skip to the end, I'll just be kind of talking, but that's up to you. You can stick around while I kind of ramble if you do enjoy like listening to me kind of just like talk about things. But, but yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this series. And I'm so happy that this is just like happening at all. You know what I mean? Like I've been really, really wanting to push content creation and it's just I've been trying to meet more people meet more creators and it's kind of working you know that episode that I, I think I was talking about how how I wanted to meet more people and like how I'm struggling to find more creators to talk to I I think that episode isn't even out yet so I don't even know if you guys have left any recommendations uh, because I think that was the episode like 10 or 13 or something I don't think we're even there yet and uploads I don't think we're there but uh but yeah either way like I, I I've been trying I've been it's been kind of going okay I've been meeting some people which is not too bad I haven't played with anybody yet but I don't know if I'll have the time going forward with classes starting which is what I'm worried about for my stuff in general but I think I'm okay with that if I, if I don't get around to actually playing with some other people for now I'm okay because I think I should work on myself and my own videos and make a name for myself before I start going to like okay let's go do stuff with other people because I want to make good quality content when I actually do get to an SMP or when I actually do get into a group or when I actually do create my own SMP or something you know what I mean it'd be really fun to make my own honestly like genuinely I would love to make an SMP on my own with people I hand pick and people I just like really really vibe with and just I really want to enjoy my time with and I've been slowly meeting some creators that I'm like okay I would love to do it with this person with this person would be great but you know it's been a slow process because I'm not I don't meet a lot of creators I'm still quite small of a creator and you know not a lot of people are super open to talking immediately and uh, I'm trying to message people but it's also nerve-wracking and a little hard but you know it's perfectly fine it should be all right I, I think with time we'll kind of get what we want of course I got to be like active in meeting people and messaging people I've still been really active in talking to new creators and trying to like leave nice comments in people's stuff so that gives me a pretty good example of what the personality type is of that person and how they message and how they talk and, and things like that if they're different in videos or, or whatever right um, so I, I use that to be like okay do I want to play with you later or do I want to even consider messaging uh, this person for another like day just so we can keep talking and some and there's been a few where I'm like okay no I think this isn't gonna work because of the way that they responded in the comments and things like that like uh, there was one major one, which I'm not going to say who, but there was one major one that I was like, oh, this is, it's kind of, it's kind of rude. I'm going to just like leave it behind. But, uh, but yeah, it, it gives me enough personality to be like, okay, I want to do it like this. I want to be with this person. I want to talk with this person. And it's, you know, so far it's worked out. I, I've met a few people. I've met a few creators that I'm like, oh, these are cool, you know? Um, but of course I'm just starting. Oh God, I can't get up there. Did I place anything? There you go. But uh, you know, I'm just starting, like I said. So, you know, things are going slowly, but they're going, you know, nothing is, you know, not happening. Progress is is being made things are happening slowly but surely and as you can see i'm getting better at building you know this looks so much nicer which is like one of my things i really wanted to do but it's just it's it's a slow process it's consistency it's time and i'm very excited to actually spend more time on world spend more time in building in this one specifically but also spend more time in like smps that'd be really fun it's just it's probably not going to happen for a while at least it's my guess and like that's probably a good idea for me to do anyways just because it's just like i i don't want to dilute my time especially when I have uh, 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 like I guess uh, like school to go to and like I have things to be at you know I, I have people I got to keep up with videos I got to keep up with it's just like a lot for me right now so when school starts
cards, I know I'm not going to have the time to do an SMP. I know I'm going to have a roommate, so I'm also not going to have the uh, freedom to just record or stream whenever I want to. I don't even do that now. I already like set a, a time for myself when I'm here. So when I'm over there, I'm definitely going to have less time. So that, I'm, that's why I'm worried about recording and getting actual recordings done in time to actually upload. But but you know what I mean? It's just I think an SMP right now would be amazing. I, I know I'd have fun. I know I'd love to meet those creators. But if I can make a name for myself alone and if I can start doing SMPs later on, maybe next summer we can start thinking about joining another one maybe there's uh something we can keep our eye on or a new one that kind of comes out of somewhere um before the end of this this following school year and that would be great to go to i would love to do that but you know for right now i think it's a good idea to kind of just chill and to kind of you know do my own thing enjoy my time and you know keep making amazing videos for you guys that you guys enjoy but stuff that i do myself you know what i mean and slowly but surely we'll be making smp content we'll be making multiplayer stuff but as of right now i don't have the time <laughs> and i don't think i will for quite a while but i would love to because i would love to meet more creators and more amazing beautiful people it's just i can't do that currently you know it's just going to be a busy time and i would love to but yeah but soon very very soon and if you are interested in playing and you and like if, if somebody i've met or somebody in one of the servers i've joined then please like uh, message me like dm me or something if you guys want to do something together i mean of course i would always be down if i have the time to but if i don't don't take it as i i, I didn't want to I, I would love to it's just i might not have the time but let's plan something let's do something if i've joined a server if i've messaged you I've, I've dm'd you or if i've commented on your videos that means i want to talk um people in the servers that i've joined i would love to play with oh my god they would be amazing people there's some amazing people that i've seen that i'm like oh i really want to talk with this person they're really good they're a really good creator and just it's just great it's a great time i would love to do that but um I, i'm just gonna be busy at the moment i think that's just gonna be the way it is oh, yeah. but i'm gonna try and be a good creator all the way, you know, I'm gonna do my best during school, I'm gonna do my best during uni and just like try and try and keep up, you know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do my best, right? Keep up with all the videos that I need to do. That's why I'm getting a backlog right now because I want to be ahead already. I don't wanna be behind in videos, I don't wanna be behind in, you know, all this stuff. I wanna still have stuff out for you, for you guys that are watching the audience. It's just, you guys mean a lot and you guys are leaving amazing comments and even though the No Plus series as of yet isn't doing super well, um, I'm enjoying it quite a lot and I think you guys would enjoy and I think it's something that I'm I'm particularly proud of, honestly. I'm like genuinely proud to be doing this series because it's it's good. I, I love watching these videos back and I love getting these videos ready. It's just I genuinely like the outcome of these and I'm very happy with the product. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as as much as I am, especially if you're like sticking around to watch all these. You know, I, I just hope that it's it's as fun for you as, as, as it is for me because I'm, I really love doing this. So, you know, oh, there we go. I got it. OK, <laughs> scare the hell out of me. Uh, Let's go back up top. Oh, this. There's dark spots down here. Oh my god. Okay, let me keep lighting up stuff and then we'll, you know, we'll just keep talking. SMP stuff eventually. I hope you guys enjoy when I do get to that point because I think it'll be fun. But as of right now, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of solo Let's Play content, solo stuff like that. But it'll it'll be a fun journey. I'm not going to say these videos are boring. They're going to be a lot of fun and they're going to be interesting. And I'm going to try, over time, I'm going to try and make these more interesting, you know, make some more jokes, make some more things. When I'm more comfortable with the editing style, I'm going to definitely do more and more as time goes on. But for right now, this is, this is what you're getting. And I think it's still a pretty good, like, reward or like I guess reward you could call it a reward I guess you know I'm very <laughs> but um it's a it's a very good video to watch and while you're just like kind of relaxing I think I, I love these making these and and watching them back and it's just I'm I'm happy with them you know I don't I don't think I'm I, I, maybe in a year or two I won't be exactly like these are my best videos but I'm I'm very proud of them now and I'm I'm happy with that feeling because it's good you know it makes me feel good to have these done but uh but yeah. yeah 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 if you are looking out you know to to play with other content creators if you're looking to reach out to people if you want to if, if you're somebody i've never talked to and you want to reach out i would love to talk yeah my dms are always open um and my discord dm is on my discord dm is open so you can find my username it's just easier things on discord it's on my channel thing you, you can message me there for like collabs or things like that if you want to do something but um you know it's completely up to you i'm not forcing anybody to be like hey message or something <laughs> you know i'm open to everything and anything because i really want to try and meet some creators and meet some fun people that might i might really get along with but yeah for right now i think that's it i think i've lit up most of the area i think that's good as long as this thing doesn't like explode that would be fine <laughs> but at some point i would love to set up more of this village and actually make it so that it's a little safer to walk around and a little easier to walk around because god is this a difficult path there is not a good path here. It is really bad. So I need to I need to be real careful with walking around. It's also really difficult to get up areas because there's no stairs. So we'll get to that eventually, but not right now. Yeah, I think the torches go far enough. I think this door makes sense. I think what I probably should do actually though, since
since this door is open, like it's able to be open, I might barricade it. I wonder if I can actually, I guess I don't want to, I don't want to make an iron door, right? That's not something I want to do. So what I'm probably going to do is just put some fences in front of it and just put those fences back up. Uh, do I have any spruce fences left? Yes, there they are. Uh, so I'm probably going to just kind of do this for now. Lock it up so that they can't get in. I want that torch back, please. There we go. So yeah, mobs shouldn't be able to get in there. At least zombies that can open doors shouldn't be able to get in there. But other than that, it should be fine. I think it'd be good. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's um head back inside and go end the episode off. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was the big episode 20. We got a lot done and I'm very happy because we're getting a good amount of progress on this villager trading post. And why is it dark? That shouldn't be the case um but yeah we've gotten a lot of progress done on this place it is not anywhere near finished but it is a lot farther than it used to be so i'm pretty happy with that so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this series so far if you are consider subscribing and sticking around leave a comment down below if you want uh, me to build something specific or if you have any recommendations for things in in the place already because there's probably a lot of things in here that could be fixed or you might have something that has, is a much better idea something i didn't think of so i would love to read the comments if you have any build ideas and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed consider sticking around it would be would mean a lot to me if you did and i would love to make it as a youtuber right that would be a big big goal to actually you know make i don't know i guess make this my job that would be great but i'm just i'm trying my best right now right we're gonna do our best while we have the time and yeah if you guys are enjoying it show your support that that just shows me that i should keep going right but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video so hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys then bye